In this lesson, we're going to study eight idioms for money. Number one, make ends meet. This economy is a mess. How can anyone afford anything? You're right. Even food is expensive. I think eggs just doubled in price. It's incredible. I've never seen inflation like this. I'm working extra hours. Me too. I have to work overtime just to make ends meet. I have to work extra hours just to make ends meet. To have just enough money to pay for the things you need. She took a second job to make ends meet after her hours were reduced. Making ends meet with a single income was challenging. When I think of making ends meet, I imagine two ends of a rope, like our image. They come together to create a connection, to meet, which means everything is good now. Everything is okay. Number two, break the bank. I really want to give her something special for her birthday but my budget isn't so high this year. Well, it doesn't have to be expensive to be meaningful. You're right. I don't have to break the bank. Maybe I'll make her something special. Exactly. It's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts is a very common expression. We use this when someone has good intentions. Maybe the gift wasn't so good, but thanks for thinking of me. Your gift doesn't have to break the bank. It's the thought that counts. To spend a lot of money or more than someone can afford. They wanted a vacation that wouldn't break the bank but still felt luxurious. Buying a used car can be a great way to get around without breaking the bank. In our second example, we have the phrasal verb, get around. This just means to be able to move from one place to another. Number three, cost an arm and a leg. I talked to her, and she said she wants a designer handbag. Wow, but those are so expensive. I know. They cost an arm and a leg. Good luck. The designer handbag she wants costs an arm and a leg. When something is very expensive. His new sports car must have cost an arm and a leg. A famous chef owns that restaurant. It costs an arm and a leg to eat there. If you buy something and pay with your arm or your leg instead of money, that thing must be very expensive and valuable. Number four. Foot the bill. Thanks for the meal. It was so nice to get to know everyone. My pleasure. I'm happy to be working together. Do I owe you any money for it? No, don't worry about it. The boss offered to foot the bill for our company lunch. The bill is another word for the check. In a restaurant, you can say, can I have the bill or can I have the check? Bill is much more common outside of restaurants. For example, 
when talking about services, we always use the word bill. The utility bill, the internet bill, the phone bill, etc. The boss offered to foot the bill for the company lunch. When the bill is paid by someone else, often something expensive. He generously offered to foot the bill for the entire wedding. The government will foot the bill for the new infrastructure projects. This is a strange one, even for us. To foot is a verb, but only in this idiom. It's not common at all. This refers to the bottom of the bill where the total price is. Someone else pays the bill. They foot the bill. Number five, pay through the nose. Everything has been different after the car accident. That's a shame. It really turned your life upside down. Did you at least get your car fixed? Yeah, at least I did that. But I had to pay through the nose to get it done. At least you don't have to worry about it anymore. It really turned your life upside down means it caused chaos in your life. Everything in your life is different. It's turned around. It's turned upside down. I had to pay through the nose to get my car fixed. To pay too much money for something. I paid through the nose after getting sick. I didn't have insurance. They paid through the nose to get the best seats at the concert. This one doesn't really make a lot of sense, but we say it when we're upset about spending a lot of money. I recommend just memorizing it. Number six, Penny Pincher. I went to dinner with John last night. Oh yeah? And how was it? It was all right, but I had to pay for everything. He never offered me any money. Everyone knows that John is a penny pincher. He tries to save as much money as possible. John is a penny pincher. He never spends his money. Someone who is very careful with the amount of money they spend. The penny pincher refused to eat out, preferring to cook at home. It's good to be a penny pincher when considering retirement. Penny pincher is not a very common expression in conversation. It's generally negative, but it can also be good because it's good to save money. But if you want to be rude, it's more common to call someone cheap. John is a cheap person. He spends little and doesn't value quality things. Number seven, money doesn't grow on trees. Can I get a new video game? I really want one. If you work for it, you can have it. Can't you just buy it for me? Sorry, money doesn't grow on trees. You have to work for things. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money is difficult to obtain. Every time we asked for expensive toys, Dad would remind us that money doesn't grow on trees. 
It's important to remind children that money doesn't grow on trees. In my experience teaching English, I've noticed that this idiom exists in almost all languages, but a little different. How do you say it in your language? Let us know in the comments section. Number eight, cash cow. This game is incredible. Have you tried it? Why are you playing that? Don't you have to pay for the extra content? Yeah, there are a lot of microtransactions and in-app purchases. It's expensive, but I love it. That game is a serious cash cow. How much money have you spent? The popular game became a cash cow for the company. A product that continues to be profitable. The company's main product has been a cash cow for years. The franchise's latest movie was a cash cow and inspired future sequels. Like our image, I believe that this expression comes from the farm. Cows provide milk or beef, which farmers then sell for a profit. Cows consistently do this, and they're very valuable. They generate money. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned some new expressions about money. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next lesson.